Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and earlier this week on Tuesday, Apple released iOS 7.1.1 to the public, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 7.1.1 on the iPhone 4. Unfortunately, this tutorial exclusively supports the iPhone 4 because the utility we're going to be using to jailbreak Geek Snow is based off of WinOCM's Open Snow project, which utilizes GeoHot's 2010 Lime Rain exploit that's based on a hardware vulnerability that's since been patched by Apple with the release of newer devices. So the Lime Rain exploit only supports A4 based devices, being the iPhone 4. It doesn't even function on the iPhone 4S because it uses a different CPU. Now it would support other older A4 based devices as well, however over time Apple has phased out said devices with the release of newer firmwares and the last one to remain in iOS 7 is of course the iPhone 4. So that's why Geeks now only functions on the iPhone for no other device and keep that in mind. Also, as of now, this tutorial is exclusive to Windows based PCs because Geek Snow hasn't been updated to properly function on OS X yet. And before I move on and go over the things you're going to need to download to jailbreak on Windows, I wanted to mention a couple of things. First of all, this is a semi tethered or a semi untethered jailbreak, meaning every time your iPhone 4 powers off or you need to reboot it in order to regain full functionality, you will need to plug it into your computer and rerun a certain portion of Geek Snow. Now, because of the semi-tethered or the semi-untethered aspect of it, when you reboot it, it will still be able to power on. You'll just have limited functionality. So you won't be able to use things like Cydia, the extensions you install from Cydia, the Safari app, as well as the Mail app. And also I wanted to take this time to show you guys that my iPhone 4 is indeed on iOS 7.1.1 by going inside of the settings app, general, about, and down below at the bottom for the version, you will notice it does say 7.1.1. So you do know that again, this is an iPhone 4 running Apple's latest public firmware being 7.1.1. All right, and with that out of the way, we're going to proceed. Remember that as of now, this tutorial is for Windows users only. I may, however, create an updated guide once the developer, Black Geek Tutorial, big shout out to him, by the way, updates Geek Snow with support for OS X. But for now, again, this is Windows only. If you have Boot Camp on your Mac, you will be able to get this to work just fine, as that's what I'm currently doing right now. So with that said, you will need both JDK or Java Development Kit, as well as .NET Framework, which most PCs have by default. JDK is a different story, however, so open up a browser, go to Google, and type in JDK. Once you've done that, you will need to just click this link here on the first listing. It says Java SE Development Kit 7. So once you click into that, you will be able to find your download. Just click accept license agreement and then scroll down a little bit and you need to select the download for Windows x86. Yes, that's correct. Even if you have a 64-bit edition of Windows installed, you will need to download and install Java Development Kit for 32-bit PCs, again, Windows x86. So once you've clicked on and downloaded the corresponding link for Java Development Kit x86, then you will be able to continue if you don't have .NET Framework installed. Again, the link that I have down below in the more info will contain complete download links as well as written instructions. And it's also, of course, a great idea to have the latest version of iTunes installed. All right, now that we have all of that out of the way without any further ado, let's go ahead and continue by opening Geeks now, which of course you will also have to download and there will be a link to that on the post in the more info. And in order to open it, simply right click and then click run as administrator and then just grant Geeks no administrative privileges. And once it opens, you will be able to continue with this jailbreak tutorial. I'm just going to zoom in really quick and I'll be right back. All right, and with your iPhone plugged into your computer via one of Apple's standard 30 pin USB cables, you're going to click the button to jailbreak inside of the Geek Snow GUI or graphical user interface. It will then tell you to put your iPhone into DFU mode, so we're going to do that now. It's extremely simple. 
hold down the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. Now, once that 10 seconds is up, you're going to release the power button and continue holding the home button for an additional 10 seconds. It should automatically continue inside of Geeks. Now, remember DFU mode is a black screen, so it should look just like this. And I'm actually going to bring this window over here. It is the SSH tool and it will continue to exploit the iPhone 4 here. And I'm just going to leave it up on the screen while all of this is happening. So that's another thing. I'm also not going to cut anything out of this video so you can see approximately how long each step should take. And some of them can take quite a while. So just refer to the process inside of the windows. As you can see inside of Geeks now, it says that it's mounting root currently and it will proceed. All right, now it's injecting the jailbreak data to the iPhone 4. We have a new window that popped up here and it's just continuing. So again, leave your device connected. All right, and it's in recovery mode right now. Geeksnow is telling us to enter DFU mode, and we can do that again by holding down the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. Now, once that 10 seconds is up, you're going to release the power button and continue holding the home button for an additional 10 seconds. Remember, DFU mode is a black screen, and it should automatically proceed once it's in DFU mode. As you can see, Geeksnow now says it's booting the iPhone 4 with open snow, which is, again, what Geeksnow is based off of. All right, and here we go. We have the scrolling text screen on the iPhone 4. This is where you need to be at. If you're here, then you know you've done this process correctly. All right, now we're back at the Apple logo and it should reboot. Okay, and when it comes back up, I just wanted to say that we won't have Cydia and you're going to need to unlock your device and just leave it at the home screen for approximately two minutes. It should automatically reboot. Again, you can also refer to the process inside of Geeks now. It's saying that this will take a while and that it's just finishing things up. Remember, it will auto reboot, so you don't need to do anything now other than to leave it connected to your computer and I cannot stress that enough. That is very important. Again, I will leave the iPhone up on the screen just so you guys can see approximately how long it should take to automatically reboot the device.
Okay, and there we go. As you can see, it did automatically reboot, and I'm just going to wait for it to enter recovery mode, and then we're going to need to enter DFU mode again. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to enter DFU mode by holding down the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. Release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds once that initial 10 seconds has passed. And as you can see, over here inside of Geeksnow, it has continued. So the iPhone 4 should boot tethered again. And once it comes back up, we will have Cydia. And once it reboots, Cydia should need to prepare the file system. It will respring. I'll go back inside of Cydia and show you guys that again, this is an iPhone 4 on iOS 7.1.1. We just have a little pop-up inside of Geeks Now telling us exactly what I just told you. And we're in the scrolling text screen right now on the iPhone 4, which is good. Remember, this is where you need to be. All right, now the Apple logo is up on the iPhone 4 here, and it should boot into iOS relatively soon. All right, and I'm just going to slide to unlock once it comes fully up here, and now I'm going to scroll over, and you will notice that now I have Cydia on my iPhone 4. So I'm going to tap into it to open it, And the first time it opens, it's going to prepare the file system. This can also take some time. Leave it open and leave it at this screen. Once your iPhone respring,s you will be good to go and you will be able to use Cydia from then on. So remember, we're just waiting at this point. Be patient and leave Cydia up on your device. All right, and as you can see, it did just respring, so we should be able to unlock it now and open Cydia. All right, and scrolling to the second page, tapping Cydia, it should ask me who I am. I'm going to select user, and then it will briefly load. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and show you that Cydia does confirm that this is an iPhone 4 running iOS 7.1.1.
All right, and as you can see at the bottom, Cydia does say that this is an iPhone 3 comma 1 or an iPhone 4 running iOS 7.1.1 with Cydia 1.1.9. I actually have a couple of updates available. I'm not going to go over those now. I'm just going to go to the changes section and show you guys that I do have packages available inside of Cydia and I could install them if I decided to. But for now, I'm just going to power off the iPhone 4 and I'm going to reboot it without the assistance of a computer just to show you that this is a semi-tethered or a semi-untethered jailbreak. I'm also going to close out of Geek Snow here just so you know for sure. And once it fully powers off, I'm going to reboot it. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we'll just wait for the iPhone 4 to reboot normally, which seeing as it's a pretty old device, that could take some time. All right, here we go, it is back up. I didn't need to plug it into a computer to reboot it like you would have had to with a traditional tethered jailbreak because again, this is semi-tethered or semi-untethered. And you will notice that the things that don't function properly, again, are Safari as well as Cydia and anything you happen to install from Cydia, they'll just crash, but at least you'll have your device with limited functionality and you should be able to use certain apps that you install from the App Store as well. So this is really great and it's your lifeline essentially. In order to reboot it back and regain full functionality, you're going to need to open Geek Snow again by right clicking it and click run as administrator. Once it comes up, you will have to plug your device into your computer computer, enter DFU mode, and then select which iPhone you have. Now, because this is an AT&T iPhone, it is a GSM iPhone 4. If it were the revision A, then I'd select iPhone 4 revision A, the middle option. Or if it were a CDMA iPhone, such as a Verizon iPhone, again, I would select the far right option, iPhone 4 CDMA. All right, and I hope you guys like this tutorial again, just showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.1 on the iPhone 4. And if you did and you want a chance to enter to win a PlayStation 4 in my all new giveaway, just be sure to rate this video up and click the annotation that's on the screen now on the desktop version of YouTube, or simply visit my channel to find my video on free app life. And also, before I conclude, if you're interested in earning paid iOS apps from Apple's App Store for free legally while simultaneously supporting the developers of said apps, just be sure to visit freeapplife.com or bit.ly forward slash get free app life inside of Safari. Once downloaded, simply install sponsored apps inside of Free App Life for points and then redeem said points for various prizes again, such as paid application codes from Apple's App Store and gift cards. All right, and that's it for this video. If you guys wanna be updated more often, such as when I cover news related to the next untethered jailbreak utility, which again, won't be released until after Apple pushes out both iOS 8 and the company's next round of iDevices, and when I actually create updated jailbreak tutorials, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next, time. This is ICU signing out.